Namaste and welcome to Mindhali Yoga. My name is Ryan. In today's yin yoga practice, we will focus on releasing tension in our hips as well as our legs. Before we start the practice, please remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel Mindhali Yoga. As your support provides me the motivation to continue doing what I'm doing and share my love of yoga with the rest of the world. So let's get started. I'm using two blocks for this practice. However, they're not essential. You can do the practice without the blocks. We're going to start in a seated butterfly pose. So come to find a comfortable seat and bring the soles of the feet to touch. Hands wrap around the feet. Now you're welcome to stay upright or you can begin to fall forward by lowering your forehead towards your toes. And also a big thank you to Seed Yoga and Wellness where I'm filming this uh, particular practice. I teach regularly here um, at Seed Yoga. It's a beautiful studio in Melbourne, Australia. And if you're local, um, feel free to come in and do a couple of classes with me. I've also included the link to the studio in the description below. Beginning to straighten the spine and then lengthen both legs long on the mat. Once we arrive here, invitation is to place the left foot inside the right thigh. And then begin to extend your hands towards the sky on the inhale. On the exhale, fall forward. Lowering your forehead towards your right knee. Hands framing the right leg. And if you like to support your head, you can always take the blocks and, ex and adjust the height of the blocks to rest your forehead on the block, just to get some support.
Beginning to straighten the spine, I will simply swap the legs over. So extending the left leg now and placing the right foot inside of the left leg. On the inhale, lift and reach with your hands. On the exhale, begin to fall forward. And once again, you are welcome to use the blocks to support your head or your forehead may go all the way down up to your knee or the shin depending on the length of your torso. Begin to straighten the spine and then we come into all fours. Coming onto our hands and our knees, aligning the wrists below the shoulders and the knees below the hips. We're going to take the pick up the right foot and place it between our hands here. So the right knee is above the right ankle. Then you can bring your blocks in if you like, or hands on the mat, begin to tilt back. Bring the left hip above the left knee and straighten the right leg. So if, the, if straightening the right knee, like absolutely straightening it hurts anywhere, you can bring a slight bend in the knee and that's okay. And from here you can flex the toes towards your face. So I like to use blocks because then I can get a proper stretch in my hamstring. Although my hands reach the floor, I just find that I'm not working my legs as much as I can. So I try to put the blocks a little bit further away from me towards the ankles and then lean forward a little bit so I can feel that stretch in my posterior chain on my hamstring as well as near my glute area.
and now gently bending the front knee and transitioning back to all fours. Let's come onto our hands and our knees again. So we can do the same posture on the other side. Taking your left foot between your hands and leaning forward a little bit and then with or without the blocks beginning to straighten the front leg. And a reminder, if straightening the front leg hurts, you can always bring a slight bend in your knee and flexing the toes towards your face and then softening through your elbows as you lean and fold forward. Return the foot to the mat and setting the blocks aside, coming into all fours. Come onto your hands and your knees, wrists below the shoulders, knees below the hips. We're going to proceed to sleeping swan. Place your right foot behind the right wrist and wiggle the right foot across until the right knee is behind the right wrist. Untuck the toes on the back leg as you stretch them towards the back of the mat. Now here you can stay upright or you can fold all the way down. I like to try a restorative option where I place the block at the tallest height in front of me and allow my elbows to rest on the mat, resting the forehead on the block. You can adjust the height of the block as well or you can place your forehead on the ground and extend your arms towards the front so several options to choose from choose the one that works for you
coming back up to center and we're going to go back into all fours from here tuck your toes and lift the tailbone towards the ceiling to come into down dog let's lengthen the hamstrings just for a few moments here so if you like to pedal your feet here i also call it walking the dog if you like doing it feel free to do so finding stillness here for another breath and then coming back to all fours going to go into sleeping swan on the other side place the left foot behind the left wrist and wiggle the foot across until the left knee is behind the left wrist and tuck the right toes and again staying upright or choosing to fall forward is up to you you can fall forward with or without a block mindfully coming upright and taking a seat with our legs extended towards the front we're going to make our way onto the mat so come to lie down please once you're here we're going to go into happy baby pose so hugging both knees into the chest and then holding on to the outer edges of the feet with your hands Now press your lower back into the mat. If this is not accessible, you can place your hands behind your knees as well. That's perfectly fine. Now once we arrive in happy baby, the temptation is there to rock from side to side. Now if you want to do it once or twice, feel free to do so. And then settling in, finding stillness. Softening the shoulders here away from the ears. and resting here gently
Now gently hug both knees into the chest. Feel free to rock from side to side, massaging the lower back. And then making your way into Shavasana. Let the feet find the corners of the mat. Hands come to rest by your side. Palms face the ceiling or the sky in a gesture of receiving from the universe. Rest, close your eyes and soften the shoulders away from the ears. Beginning to wiggle your fingers and your toes as awareness returns to your consciousness. Moving and stretching in ways that come naturally. Roll over to your favorite side, using your arm as a cushion under your ear. Now with your eyes closed, slowly coming up into a seat. Hands come together, palms touch. 
thumbs press against the sternum. One soft inhale, followed by one soft exhale. We bring the thumbs to third eye center, to your lips and to your heart. From my heart to yours, namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Wherever you're in the world, have a great morning, amazing afternoon, or an awesome evening. I will see you soon on the mat. Namaste.